गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज अक्षय वर्मा आई एम वर्किंग इन सीतापुर आई हॉस्पिटल एज अ टेक्निकल ऑफिसर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट फॉर द सेट लैम्प नो सेट लैम्प फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सेट सी द यूजेज ऑफ सेट लैम्प सेट लैम्प इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज डायग्नोस्टिक इक्विपमेंट by an ophthalmologist of today it provides illumination and magnification system to see the eye and its various parts it is used to examine the interior and posterior segments of the eye it also so uh, act as a supporting device for ablation tonometer which is used to measure the iop of the eye some set lamps are having the camera attachment for set lamp photography and it is also used to deliver uh, single uh, spot laser beams at any required area of eye for the treatments these are the some common uses of the set lamps now let's move on the parts of the set lamp so sit lamps are have, are having basically three three parts which is shown in this figure that is illumination system magnification system and mechanical system now let's see the types of illumination system so basically sit lamps is defined by the two types of illumination system the first one is upward illumination system and the second one is downward illumination system in upward illumination system the bulb or the light source is placed at the bottom of the set lamp in the lighthouse which is shown in here and in upward illumination system the bulb or light source is at the top of the set lamps at this place in upward illumination system it uses a right angle tiger prism to direct eye into the patient's eye and in downward illumination system it uses a mirror which is kept at 45 degree angle to direct light into patient's eye now let us see the path of the light for upward illumination system so as shown in the figure and flow chart light from the bulb falls on condensing lens this condensing lens which converts the scattered light into parallel beam of light then this parallel beam of light will passes through filter and aperture section after that the light will pass from adjusting sit where we can adjust the size of the slit or width of the slit then it passes to objective lens this objective lens will focus the light on the right angle press at the base of the right angle press and then this press will direct light into the patient's eye so this is how the light from the bulb is reaching to the patient eye now see the downward illumination system so in downward illumination system is similar to the uh, upward illumination system only the difference is that uh, that it uses a mirror to direct the light into the patient eye which is kept at 45 degree as shown here now let's see different types of bulb which is used in the set lamps so there are three basically uh, type of bulbs first one is tungsten bulb second one is halogen bulb and third one is led bulb so tungsten bulb 
is producing more heat along with the light and the life of these types of bulbs is around 1000 hours now second the halogen bulb halogen bulb are slightly bright, brighter than the tungsten bulb and the lifetime of these kind of bulb is 2000 hours the third one is led bulb which are recently introduced in the set lamps <coughs> Its lifetime is around 40,000 hours and it is much cheaper, cheaper than other types of bulb. So this is the major advantage. Now let's see how to replace the bulb in the set lamp. So this set lamp is a downward illumination system set lamp. So in downward illumination system, there is a light house. Lamp house or light house. In this lamp house, there is a, a screw at the bottom center. So please note before unscrewing this sit lamp a screw, the first turn off the sit lamp and wait for some time to cool down the bulb. So Remove the after uh, cooling the set lamp. Remove this screw. As you remove this screw, this house will come out, and you will see the bulb holder with this clamp. So remove this clamp by pushing it. Then you will get bulb holder with the bulb. So avoid touching the bulb with bare hand. If you touch with the bare hand, it will lead, lead to impart some fingerprints on the bulb, due to which the image quality will get spoiled. So use lint-free cloth to remove the bulb as shown in this picture. Now let's see magnification system. Magnification system for the set lamp is similar to indirect ophthalmic scope. It provides a stereoscopic view of the patient eye under focus. It can obtain by moving the viewing system or magnification system towards the patient or towards the examiner. There, as shown in this picture, this is a, a magnification knob which is having some zooming lenses inside and it's marking in this. We can adjust according to the examiner. There are some lenses which is used to posterior, uh, posterior which is used to see the posterior parts of the eye like 90d and 70d now let's see the mechanical system the major mechanical part of the sit lamp is the table which holds the sit lamp so there are two types of tables that is motorized table and second one is hydraulic table. Another important part of the mechanical system of the set lamp is the joystick, which is used to move the set lamps in almost every direction. Some other mechanical parts are headrest, fixation target, chin rest, and chinders adjuster. Chinders adjuster is used to adjust the chin of the patient in up and down direction. And fixation target is used to fix the visual line of the patient so that examiner can easily see the patient's eye. 
Now let's move on to care and maintenance of the sit lamp. So most important part of the sit lamp is the optics. So safeguard the optics while disinfecting the sit lamps. While doing the dis disinfecting the sit lamps, avoid spilling the distinct liquid into the optics of the sit lamp, as this liquid will deteriorate the optics. And after some time, the image quality will be poor. As shown in this these picture, some of the basic optics is shown. That is, first one is objective lens, the second one is eyepiece, third one is mirror, and the fourth one are the prism, which is inside the eyepiece. So before cleaning the optics, first blow off the dust by using these kind of blowers. Then clean the optics using uh, using cotton swab, which is moist on moist soap solution, followed by the cleaning of with dry cotton swab. So by doing this, you can clean the optics of the settler. Other uh, care and maintenance are we can use the soft inverse sheet to clean the siding plate. In the bottom of the joystick, there is a ball, and due to movement of this ball, sometimes scratches can be made, happened at the sliding plate. If this kind this scratches are there. Then the sit lamp is not easily movable. So we should clean these scratches from the side into to re remove these scratches. We can use a soft emery sheet. We should clean the rail and caster path, uh, rail path and caster wheels using lubricating sprays like zoric acid or WD40. Lubricate the mechanical parts using the oil and grease. Most important point, when the sit lamp is not in use, shut down the sit lamp or switch off the sit lamp and cover it with its cover. As this activity will avoid most of the issues in the sit lamp. Now, let's move on to the common problems and their solution in the set lamp. So, most important, the most common problem in the set lamp is when there is no light. The possible reason of this problem is main switch is in off position. So, please check that switch and turn it on. Second one. <coughs> Power cable is not connected properly. So check the power cable of the slit lamp and connect it properly. Slit with control knob is in close position. Sometimes examiner or doctor switch off the main switch, check the power cable, but after doing all this, no light is there. Then sometimes the slit with control knob is in off position. So if it is in off position, then there will be no light. So check it and open that. You will get the light. Sometimes filter and aperture section are not in correct position. As shown in this, this is a aperture section, aperture lock, and this is a filter lock. If these two knobs are not in correct position, then the light will not pass from these. So you should 
check and place in the correct position to get the light. Sometimes bulb is used to replace the bulb with the correct rating of this correct rating. Second problem is when there is dim illumination. So the possible reason for that is bulb is not seated properly. If the bulb in the bulb socket is not seated properly, then the light will not passes passes properly due to which the image is not clear. So check it and replace replace the bulb in the socket. Sometimes bulb becomes blackened. We can't do anything for this blackened bulb. We need to replace it with the new bulb. Another major problem is when there is double image complaint in the circuit. If this kind of complaint came, possible reasons are magnification lever is not seated properly. So this is the magnification lever and this is the marking. If this lever is not properly seated, then there will be a double image. So check this lever if this double image complaint key. Magnification lever become loose. Sometimes by, by using set lamp lever several times, this lever may become loose. So you should tie this kind of lever. Third possible reasons, the optic power of the eyepieces may not be in appropriate position to the user. In the set lamp IPs, there is some power which is marked. If this power is not adjusted according to the examiner, then there will be a double image complaint. So, examiner should check and adjust the eyepieces accordingly. Or keep the eye position, keep the position of the eyepieces in the zero position. Last is caster wheels of the joystick may not be in the same level of the wheels. So keep the caster on the rail in the same level. Thank you.